Okay, I finally got everything disassembled in the back end of this tractor to try and figure out where is it leaking hydraulic fluid from. I was going to upload a video yesterday, but it uh, kind of got raining and really super stormy. So I'm not gonna bother uploading it. But I got these two lines coming back right here and they go through a bend right here. And if you look, there's a puddle of hydraulic oil right underneath. So I'm thinking it's these two lines right here are primarily the fittings that are leaking. So I'm gonna see about um, starting this machine up. As you can see, I don't have a gas tank at the moment, but it should have enough uh, fuel in the fuel line to uh, see if it works. But um, I'm thinking it's these lines here, but I was driving it yesterday because it does actually still run and drive. Um, it actually runs really, really nice. But um, it seemed more leak when I stopped, or at least that's when I noticed it. So it could have been piling up on here. And then when I stopped, that's whenever I noticed it. So let's uh, get it fired up. I still don't have battery cables, so I gotta get the jumper cables ready. And we'll see where it's leaking. Okay, I got the jumper cables set up. Let's see if it'll start. I saw it, don't know if you guys saw it, it's leaking right at the end of this fitting right here. There's a pinhole right there in that elbow. I think that's going to be uh, relatively easy to fix. Um, I, that's, that's crazy. How is it leaking on an elbow? Um, if anyone has part numbers for this, be greatly appreciated. There is a Cub Cadet dealer near me, but it's uh, a little bit of a distance away from me. But there is a dealer, but it appears like it's just leaking right on that elbow right there. Uh, literally looks like the elbow itself is cracked. So I think I'm going to loosen this fitting here and take out the elbow and clean this off first because it's I don't want to get any of this crap back into the transmission. But um, we'll see what happens. Also, as you can see, I desperately need a new fan. The fan is chewed up. That's why I originally thought the uh, oil filter had the issue. But no, it's... Something else happened to that fan as well. That fan went through, went to hell and back a couple different times. So anyways, I think it's just going to be this elbow right here. Hopefully it's a cheap part. It looks relatively cheap. So good luck to me, hopefully. Again, if anyone has any uh, suggestions, part numbers, where to get these parts, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll talk to you later. Please give a red neck like always and uh, please share a comment.